So I had this buddy come up to me about a week ago, and he says, uh, why are you so against the spontaneous generation of life? I mean, that life could just pop out of a primordial kind of ooze with some sparks from, uh, from lightning and some uh, volcanic solvents. Why, why am I so against this? And I said, well, because we've looked at the, uh, the, the impossibility of this happening. He said, no, no, in the 1950s, they did it. They created life in an experiment. And he was referring to these Yuri Miller experiments, these soup and spark experiments, where they put some methane gas in a, in a chamber with uh, some uh, hydrogen, and they started whacking it with uh, basically electric sparks. And they did this over and over and over and over. And at one point, what made the uh, scientific journals, they created some trace amino acids. Well, what's not really told to us is about 98% of what they always created was tars and acids. So they kept killing the amino acids. And so finally, Yuri and Miller created this little catch bin so that they could separate these amino acids, these trace amino acids, from the tars and the acids so they'd survive. Anyway, he said, 1950s, we created life from just basically the interaction of two base chemicals and, and lightning strikes. I said, well, wait a minute here. You created amino acids, amino acids being the foundation of proteins. Proteins only coming about through very detailed instructions, thus DNA and RNA. What Yuri and Miller did was they basically figured out a way to create a clay brick. And you're saying that, that, that this clay brick somehow declares that now we can build an entire skyscraper in New York City. Uh, it, it, we're talking about a base element as compared to the finely tuned and, and remarkable uh, skyscraper in my example. So anyway, I wanted to kind of take this back and say, uh, first of all, just a trace amino acid, no life. Secondarily, who was designing the experiment? Who kept monkeying with the beakers and monkeying with the, uh, the, the different uh, elements? Who ultimately devised this concept of separating these trace amino acids from the tars and acids? I think they were intelligent designers.